Hello, welcome to another tutorial brought to you by the Tamworth Library Innovation Studio. We're going to be programming the micro bit, but as always, we'll be using the virtual environment on the Make Code website. The link will be in the description. Um, so you don't need the physical device. Uh, this week, we're going to be focusing on communication, so between micro bits using the Bluetooth radio. So let's get stuck in. The microbit has a, a Bluetooth antenna, and you can see it's showing it here at the top left-hand corner on the back. Um, and that obviously works like any other Bluetooth device. It's used for communication. And you'll see in the, in the previous slides, we're going to see exactly what it can do. Uh, so here's what we're going to cover today. Um, we're first going to look at what you can do with the Bluetooth radio, so what it's capable of. We're going to do a little activity. We're going to send and receive simple messages with the microbit from one um, microbit to another. And then, of course, as always, some challenges at the end for you to complete. So, uh, first of all, you, you need to set a, a radio group. Um, and that allows you to, if, both, if two microbits are on the same radio group, then they're set up to communicate with each other. Okay, so that's the first thing that you need to set, and you need to set it on each microbit. Then you can the things you can send are, are numbers and strings, um, and you can also send if you're sending multiple messages. It's a good idea to send a value where you can give it a name, and then an actual uh, number that's attached to that name. And over here you can see um, if one is sending, the other can be set to receive, and they're just like the regular. So you can tell the microbit what to do. Uh, when it receives a certain message. So what does this actually do? Like, what can you actually do with these sorts of things? Um, a, an example where it's communicating microbit to microbit, you can get these little robots um, that can drive along and they have a microbit in them. And then you can use a, another microbit to drive and steer that. So you're sending um, commands, one of them, you might be pushing buttons or tilting it and that's sending different commands to the other one to tell it what to do with that information. And of course, you can connect it to uh, phones or other Bluetooth devices. So for instance, over here, this one, um, they're taking a selfie, so you can use the one uh, microbit to send a signal to the phone or tablet to take an actual uh, picture. That's just some of the uses, but um, let's get stuck into an activity. So in our activity, we're going to do a very simple uh, message of a send and receive. So you can see down here, the sender is going to ask, are you okay? And that should display on the receiver's screen. Uh, and then the re receiver is gonna send it, become a sender and then send back a message based on whichever button they press. Button A might be yes or no. And then the receiver will receive that message. So we're doing a simple communication between them. All right, let's head over to the Make Code website for the microbit. So, as always, the link will be in the description. But you can search up Make Code Microbit, and that should bring up this website here, makecode.microbit.org. And we'll create a new project. And uh, we'll be using mainly the commands, uh, but not, not limited to, but mainly the commands in this radio spot right here. So uh, pause the video and make sure you've got a new project open and ready to go. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is head on to the radio section and we need to set the radio group. So we'll just use one, but you could put put any number you like in there as long as the other one's set to the same. So if we set radio group to one, um, and to start off with, we'll uh, send the message through to this, this will be the sender. So we'll send the message through to the other micro bit. So we're just gonna send a string. And our string was, are you okay? 
Don't forget the question mark. Okay, um, so now nothing's happening over here at the moment. Um, to get it to display on the other screen, we need to receive the message. So we can put the receive code right here. So down here, uh, you'll see on radio received, received string, because we've sent a string, we need to receive it. We can tell it what to do. So quite simply, we can just display it on the screen. So I think that's in basic here. We'll show string. And there's a little trick here. Um, at the moment we're showing hello, but we want to put the received string in here. We want to show that. We don't want to show, and we can just click here and drag it out from there. Okay. Um, and now you can see our message is displayed. Uh, we'll pause for a second, and, and once you've got that, we'll move on. Okay, so we've received the message. The next step now is to send a response back. So um, if I remember, if we press A, that will be yes, and B will be no. Um, so if we go into the input and put a uh, on button A pressed, now we'd like to send back, send a message back. So we'll go to uh, the radio and we'll send a string back. Uh, send a string and we're saying yes. Okay. Uh, we can just test that out and then we'll do uh, button B. So if you press A, notice how it sends it to the other micro bit, yes. Okay. So whichever one you send it from, it sends it back to the other micro bit. Um, so let's do, at the moment obviously B doesn't work, so let's do button B and we'll duplicate that. And we'll change this to B and the message to no. Okay, there we go. Now it's asking, are you okay? And if I press B, it will say no. If I press A, it'll say yes. And now that's communicating between the two micro bits that are set to send and receive and are on radio group one. Uh, one more thing, let's make sure we save this and we'll call it um, radio. All right, so now for your challenges. Uh, instead of just sending um, a simple yes, no answer between devices, a good challenge would be to try to send emojis. Now you can use all different combinations of things to send the message, like pressing buttons, tilting, shaking, that sort of thing. Um, and then the receiver will receive, to display that message, you may have to send uh, using numbers and then do an if, if statements to check, but we should be able to do that if, if, if you've done the previous uh, tutorials. Another good one is to head over to the make code tutorials. Um, just on the website, if you scroll down, there should be radio games. Not all of them will work unless you ha have a, you know, actual micro bit. But one um, that I can recommend is the Telly Potato one, which is a, a game of hot potato using the micro bits. And you can just do it in the uh, virtual micro bit section. All right. That's it. Have fun.